Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for this webinar. Good morning and good evening. Uh, I'm Omar for Stone, from Stonefly and joining me for this webinar is Kais Nuri from Stonefly. We'll be uh, discussing a simple and reliable backup for Office 365, Microsoft Exchange, Microsoft OneDrive and Microsoft SharePoint in this webinar. Uh, before we go on further, allow me to clarify a few things. Uh, for the whole webinar session, everybody else will be muted, uh, but we will be taking questions, so do feel free to ask away in your uh, chat box to your right. Uh, we will be uh, answering as many questions as we can throughout the session. There will be a Q&A session at the very end, and if we uh, end up missing uh, your question, we will get to you through email. Uh, this whole session will be recorded and uh, we will be sending you the recording of this session and the slides in a week or so. So um, moving forward before we move on to the discussion about the backup and recovery solution uh, for uh, Office 365, allow me to tell you a little about Stormfly. Stormfly offers on-premises and cloud-based storage, backup and disaster recovery solutions. We have NAS appliances, we have SAN appliances, we have purpose-built, feature-rich uh, backup appliances, we have Veeam-ready Veeam -ready backup appliances as well. Uh, Stonefly pioneered the creation, development, and deployment of the iSCSI storage, product, product, uh, storage protocol and made it into the industry standard that it, it is today. We offer a number of patented products certified by United States Patent and Trademark Office. Our solutions have been deployed in all Microsoft commercial and government data centers worldwide. Stonefly products back up uh, nuclear class submarines data. Uh, Stonefly holds a number of partnerships. Some of them include VMware Tab Advanced Partner, VMware Professional Solution Provider, a certified Microsoft Azure Marketplace Partner, a Microsoft Cloud Solution Provider, a Microsoft Government Cloud Service Provider, Veeam Technology Alliance Partner, Veeam Cloud Service Provider, and Amazon AWS Technology Partner. For the flow of this webinar, we'll be discussing why should you back up Office 365, then we'll discuss the shared responsibility model between Microsoft and the end user for Office 365 data. Then from, from then on, Kais will take over. He'll discuss Veeam Backup for Office 365 backup features and the supported backup repositories. Then he'll discuss the restoring features and the abilities that you get and the new 20, and the 25 new features that you gain with the new release of O3, Veeam O365 uh, backup. And finally, he'll conclude with how easy it gets to comply to industry regulations with Veeam Backup for Office 365. So why should you back up Office 365? Well, basically because Microsoft is not doing it for you. Microsoft is a, the uh, data processor and they're, doing, they're basically giving you uh, availability. While as the data owner, you have your own responsibility to back up and secure your data. So what it is that you lose if you don't back up Office 365? Well, you have limited access and control of your own data. Because you're not setting up backup, you're not setting up retention policies, you're not controlling how long your data stays, it's only susceptible to whatever Microsoft has determined for it. This gives you, this sets up retention policy gaps and makes it easier for your data to be lost. For instance, let's say you end up uh, deleting a file and it's in your recycle bin and after a month you decide okay we needed that file but because of Microsoft by default settings if it has stayed in the in, in the recycle bin for a month now it's lost and if you hadn't backed it up there's no other way to gain it back so this this makes it easier for your data to be lost if you don't have it backed up security vulnerabilities it's it's vulnerable to all kinds of internal risks uh, like accidental deletion, malicious deletion, or evidence tampering, etc. It's also vulnerable to external risks like ransomware, malware, rogue applications. That th this complex, th this makes it also a challenge for uh, uh, 
the data owners to comply to industry reg regulations like uh, HIPAA, HITRUST, FedRAMP, FISMA, because you're not retaining your data, you're not controlling uh, uh, its backups, so it becomes a challenge to adhere to industry regulations. So the shared responsibility model, well, what's Microsoft's responsibility as an infrastructure service provider and what's your responsibility? Microsoft's responsibility is to make sure that your data is always available. They have to ensure that even if a natural disaster takes down a data center, the end user or you don't feel that your data is, is not available, that it's not accessible. In order to do this, Microsoft employs data replication and geo-redundancy policies. What they do is they create replicas and replicas and distribute it over their data centers. So even if one data center is down, your, your data is still accessible uh, because it's replicated. But that does not mean that it's being backed up. Replication or, or uh, creating redundant copies is not the same. What they're trying, what they're offering you is that whatever shape your data is in, it's going to be available. So, the, so making sure that your data is not corrupted or your data is uh, available after some sort of um, uh, internal deletion or accidental deletion, that's not their responsibility. That's your responsibility. As a infrastructure service provider, what Microsoft has to ensure is that the, that the server that where your data is being stored, it's physically secure, it's logically secure, the application level security is being implemented and it's only accessible with the right kind of user admin controls. Only the right credentials can access the server with your data. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, in terms of regulation, in terms of compliance, Microsoft takes the role of a data processor as the owner of the infrastructure that's keeping your data. So in order to comply to industry regulations, which they have a list of, Microsoft uh, complies to a huge range of compliance regulations, but they do so as an infrastructure service provider. They make sure that and, uh, under certain circumstances, even in terms of national, in, in the case of a natural disaster, the user data, the end user data is, is still available. So they comply to industry regulations by making sure that the that their responsibility as a data processor or as an infrastructure uh, service provider is being fulfilled by providing the availability of their uh, infrastructure. That's why their SLA states quite clearly that the infrastructure is Microsoft's responsibility. but the security or is the responsibility of the data owner, which is you. So what, what other, what kind of responsibility, just to clarify, what are your responsibilities as the Office 365 data owner? Well, you have to make sure that you maintain control by setting up backup policies, by, by setting up backups for your Office 365 data so that it's not so it's less likely to be lost in terms of a, in the event of a uh, accidental deletion or malicious deletion. So you have to make sure that your data is being retained or it's being archived. Let's say uh, you're a service provider uh, that has to make sure that in, in cases of e-discovery, your data is available, or the office emails are available. If you don't have uh, retention policies set up, Microsoft is not doing it for you. As I said, the, the example of the recycle bin. Let's say, let's take another example. Let's say you have an employee and they uh, they leave the company, so you don't want to pay for their share of the license, and you deactivate the license. Now, after a month or, or six months, you decide, okay, the, we need the data for that employee. Now it's no longer available because Microsoft is only responsible to keep the data of an employee that leaves the company for a month. If you don't have retention policy set up, if you don't have backup set up, if you're not keeping it any at any other place uh, or through a reliable backup software, then it's it's completely lost. Then there's no other way to gain it. In terms of security. Uh, what you're supposed to protect your data from is internal uh, internal risks, external risks, as I mentioned earlier, the protection of your Office 365 data, SharePoint data, Exchange data is your responsibility. Microsoft is not doing it for you. Similarly, in terms of compliance, 
as the data owner you're responsible to make sure that your data is not is being retained for a specific period of time Microsoft is only offering as per their SLAs as per their role as a data processor to make sure that your data is retained for a year or several years you have to set up the backup policies that that retain your data to a, in a specified backup repository as a data processor Microsoft does not do that for you and they are still compliant to industry regulations to comply to industry regulations as a data owner you have to set up the backup you have to set up the retention policies so we back up for office 365 uh, from his this point on Kais will explain how easy it is to uh, make to comply to industry regulations and how easy it is uh, to back up your office 365 or your uh, uh, SharePoint or OneDrive data with me. Kais, over to you. Thank you, man. So, uh, thank you for explaining the responsibilities of the, uh, Office 365. Uh, now, it's my part to describe Veeam Backup for Office 365 and why you need them. Well, uh, as you said, uh, Veeam the um, backup for Office 365 gives you more control on your data uh, that you can um, back up on the repository where you want. You can set up retention policies that you want or, and get the full control of your data uh, because it's your data and you have to control it. Uh, well, uh, it offers you to set up your backups in different locations. For example, you can set up your data in your on-premise infrastructure, uh, your local servers or whatever storage media you're using. You can back them up to an off-site storage media, uh, maybe a branch office or somewhere. You can back them up to public cloud such as Azure, AWS, or any other S3 compatible cloud. You can back them up in Stonefly private cloud, which is a very secure cloud. And you can also archive them to Stormfly Archive Cloud. Uh, in backup for Office 365 is not only for your Office 365 emails, it also backs up your OneDrive, your Microsoft Exchange Online, and your SharePoint data. So you can back up a couple of things with this. It's a complete solution for you. Uh, well, let's go towards some additional features. Uh, it, um, Supports SharePoint site libraries, items, and documents. You can back them up and restore them whenever you want to do. Uh, you can it supports OneDrive documents. Many businesses keep their data at OneDrive or keep them at uh, OneDrive for business. So you can back them up and restore them whenever you need them. Uh, supports separate components installation during setup. Uh, if you are uh, you have a license of Veeam Backup for Office 365, and you only need to back up SharePoint and Office 365 data, but you don't need to back up uh, Exchange Server. So you have the option to install specific components. Just install those which you need, and don't uh, install those which you don't need. It gives you a complete different uh, <clears throat> Veeam Explorer for uh, backing up your um, um, of uh, your Exchange Server data. So you can um, back up your Exchange Server data as well and gives you a Veeam Explorer for that, which is very easy to control. Oh, well, uh, let's go to some backup repositories that where you can back up your data. You can back up your data into virtual machines in Azure or in AWS Cloud or any other cloud. You can set up a backup repository as a cloud you can uh, do your backup repositories for storage area network, SAN, or block mode storage. You can, uh, your backup server must be connected to the SAN fabric, uh, either via hardware or via or HPA or a uh, uh, iSCSI initiator. So you can do uh, block mode backups as well. You can uh, backup on a local folder uh, or a local drive on your uh, Beam backup proxy server or a proxy server. You can also back up to NAS servers if you want. Uh, many businesses need uh, uh, appreciate 
having uh, their backups in external hard drives or USB or SATA drives, so they can back up uh, into DAS, direct attack storage, and they can use USBs, eSATAs, or raw mapping uh, volumes. <coughs> so, going to the next slide. Uh, in this diagram, we will explain how uh, we back up for Office 365 actually works. Uh, as you guys know, the backup uh, room, uh, your data of Office 365 is always uh, on the cloud, which is uh, Microsoft Cloud. So it, you can do as the green arrow says, you can install Veeam backup for Office 365 powered by Stormfly and back up your backup repository. Um, what you can back up, you can back up your Office 365 data or you can back them up as an on-premise exchange server. You can back them up as email attachments. You can back them up as files. You can back them up as, uh, or export them as PSD. And all these options are available for, uh, <clears throat> for uh, restore as well. You can back up and restore the data uh, the way you want them. Um, uh, let's look at some, some additional features. Well, with the new version of Veeam Backup for Office 365, which is the version two, you get 25 new ways to restore your Exchange, your SharePoint, and your OneDrive data uh, or OneDrive for Business data. Uh, let's go through some of them. So um, you can restore your Exchange item or Exchange online mailbox or calendars wherever you need and whenever you need them. You can save Exchange items as an MSG file. You can export the folders, items, or mailboxes as a PST file. You can restore site, libraries, and documents to SharePoint online. You can save SharePoint objects as a file. And you can restore users, folders, or files uh, to OneDrive for business whenever you need them. No matter one day, two day, or one month, you can restore them. So, with Veeam Backup for Office 365, you can meet different industry regulations and compliances. For example, with Office 365 backups, user can set up long term retention policies. You don't have to limit yourself to Microsoft's 30 day backup policies. You can do set up retention policies for months, years, decades, whenever you want. Uh, well, if you go to a different industries, the, uh, some industries like uh, insurance and other media can uh, need files for more than decades, 10 years, 15 years, so they can set up their uh, regulatory and uh, retention policies in a way that their data is on their servers or on the cloud for 10 years, and they can export or restore whatever they want. For example, they need the data for just one month, which was a decade ago. They can do granular restores and restore the data, which was from that month. They don't need to restore each and everything they have, so they can restore the data whenever they need. Well, that's all from my side. Ramad, do we have any questions uh, so far? Yes, we do have quite a few questions. Let's try and get to them uh, within the time span that we have. Okay, first question is uh, from a healthcare organization uh, user. They're saying, uh, is this Wing Backup for Office 365 compliant to HIPAA and HITRES? Uh, well, yeah, you can um, back up to, um, when you're setting up retention policies, you can uh, get compliance to different industry standards, which is for healthcare, they can do HIPAA and HITRES compliances. Uh, for federal government agencies, they can uh, um, get compliance to FEDRAM, and um, FEDRAM, they can get CGS compliance. So, yeah, they can get compliances to almost every industry like it. Okay, uh, next question is, uh, um, this individual has their own storage system implemented, they're using it for storage. Uh, they're wondering if they can integrate Veeam Backup for Office 365 and set up backup repositories on their local infrastructure. Is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. They can uh, set up uh, their backup repositories on on-premises, and if they want, they can do hybrid 
uh, in Prosecure as well. So they, we have a lot of fixable options for by Stormfly because it gets uh, coupled with Stormfly Gateway. So they can do it on premises, they can do it in the cloud, they can do it hybrid, they can do multi cloud. So there's no matter of options for them. Okay, you you basically answered the next question that I had, but just just to elaborate on this, they want to know uh, a hybrid implementation of Veeam Backup for Office 365. They they're saying, uh, let's say I have uh, um, uh, Microsoft SharePoint and I have Microsoft Office 365. Can I configure one on an on-premise backup repository and the other in a VM deployed in Azure? Is it possible? That's possible. It's definitely possible. You can do this. Okay. Uh, okay, one uh, one more question. We're, we're consuming quite a bit of time here. Uh, they're they're asking. I don't have Veeam licenses, so do I have to buy Veeam licenses to get Veeam Backup for Office 365, or can I get, just get Veeam Backup for Office 365? Well, uh, Veeam Backup for Office 365 is a standalone product, so you don't need to have uh, Veeam licenses. You just buy this product and. Obviously, licenses for Office 365, and uh, it will work. You don't need to have uh, a Veeam set up on your on-premise or on your infrastructure. You just buy these licenses, and it will work for you. If you have Veeam, that's better. But if you don't have Veeam, you can just uh, buy these uh, licenses and work. Okay. Okay. Now, this uh, was not actually a question, but just to clarify, what kind of licensing options do we have for Veeam Backup for Office 365? Well, uh, Stormfly offers different um, subscription-based uh, licenses for Veeam uh, for uh, Veeam Backup for Office 365. It can be a month-to-month -month subscription, a quarterly subscription, annual subscription. Basically, we offer them licenses from one month to five years so they can use whatever they need month to month or up to five years so whatever license suits them they need. So the user can choose whatever a monthly license or whatever kind of license they want for Veeam Backup for Office 365. Getting Veeam Backup for Office 365 is pretty simple from Stonefly. You can visit our website and uh, register using the form on the product page or you could just call us at this number or you could send us an email at this given email address uh, we make it very simple. We we try to keep it uh, more personal with our clients. We want to know what you need, and we then we listen to your requirements, and then we offer a, a a customized solution that's best fit for your need. I think that's all the time we had for this uh, webinar. Uh, thank you everyone again for joining us. And if we have missed questions, we do have missed uh, quite a few questions. But j just uh, that we will get back to every single question through email uh, and uh, as I mentioned at the beginning the recording of this webinar and the slides will be, uh, will be available um, in a week or so so again thank you guys for conducting the webinar thank you everyone for uh, this webinar and joining us uh, thank you very thank you much everyone. thank you goodbye thank you.